Expedite the pre-workout is, is designed to really help you get through those moments where you feel a little fatigued. Sometimes your body does get a little tired, you know, it gets a little sore. But this kind of stuff picks you right back up. Uh, the outcome of how <laughs> my prediction is my guy winning the fight, man. Okay. I'm gonna repeat what he said. He's gonna go out there on the one side of the and I believe him. I mean he's gonna do everything he can to prove that. So I believe that and I know he's gonna do it. All right, perfect. Thank you, coach. Robert and Mikey been on you know been on record saying that they see some in arrow that you know they can exploit. So do you do you see anything in Mikey that y'all can exploit? Oh, yeah, we do without a doubt. I mean like, you know, and it's the same conversation all day long. You don't see it until you look deep into it. You got to strategize and see what he does wrong. I see it. So I'm just like, you know, we, there's nothing that sticks out so great, but it's something that you have to be able to make happen. And once um, Errol get the victory, you think he'll get his credit? Just because, they, you know, he coming up a uh, one-way class? I think that he will not, but it's okay. Yeah. Doesn't mean that everybody will say he's fighting a smaller guy. Yeah, yeah, I'll say that, right? But, I mean, did they get... Yeah, I don't know. So, you know, did they, did they get really in the backlash? Like, he came back and beat Duran? I don't know. Or did Tommy Allen be knocked out Duran? So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, people are more critical now because back then you couldn't see what they wanted to say. Now everybody's a rock star, everybody's a superstar, everybody's a, in the media. You pick up a phone, you got it popping. So, and that's immediate because you can see it on the internet. So, who knows? I mean, if they don't. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not, they, they, bought the t they bought the fight also, so it doesn't matter. Hey, Derek, to so the untrained boxing eye, uh, they said uh, they see something in the Lamont Peterson fight. That looked like, to the untrained boxing eye, a dominant performance. What do you think that they saw in that, you being the trainer, what would you take from that, that, that victory? In that fight, I thought it was a dominant performance, but hey, man, maybe it was something that they saw Lamont left on the table that they could have did. And, they're gonna come back in and double down on it. And they're gonna do you know, whatever it takes to get what they're doing. So I don't know. Did you go back and study that fight to see what Yeah, I mean I, I memorized the fight. I memorized the fight. I mean I saw it. I did go back and watch it immediately after. They always have something to say to him when we get back together. But it was like, man, it is what it is. If they feel like that, just let them let them let them believe. Let them do it. Did you do you see a different level of of, of just on from him, this training camp, to just want to prove a point, a different I mean, level? He's always that guy. I mean, he's always that guy that wants to prove a point. He's always that guy that wants to go out there and show and prove and um, let everybody know he's the best. I mean, when he says it, he really does mean that. I mean, it's not like he's saying it's like, um, I think I am. He really believes that, and that's what, that's what he is, man. Is it, is it, was it hard to prepare for Mikey Garcia? No, I mean, no, it's just like you just, not at all. I mean, Mikey's a tough guy. He's a very... Smart guy, intelligent fighter. I mean, all these. I mean, I think that you just you gotta. Everything's more methodical. Everything is more thought out. Closer. He's done. But that is what it wasn't hard. As a trainer, though, is this fight with everything going on and surrounding it? Does this motivate Derrick James even more, just like Errol Spence? I mean, without a doubt, man. Come on, man. This, this is not only Errol's future. This is my my legacy, my future. This is the biggest one. I mean, it's my tenth world championship bout. You know, so hey, listen, man. This is what it's all about. This is the building of building of legacies, the arrow, and I'm part of that. And hey, we're gonna keep pushing on. This, I mean, this guy, he's tough, and he's wealth, and he's working, he's everything, man. But we'll see. I mean, you know, it's not a one. It's not a one side. It's not like arrow just throwing punches. It's not like Mikey just out thinking somebody. You know, he's never faced a guy like this. Hands down, point blank. There. Uh, Robert Garcia at the beginning of the, at the beginning of this fight, or the fight before the sign, contract was signed, he says, "No, I don't want you to fight Earl Spence." What was your thoughts when the conversation was going, Earl Spence versus Mikey Garcia? Well, I mean, I, I, too I small, didn't, too little. Or what were your thoughts? I didn't even think about it until I mean, I don't I don't talk about it until it's real, until the contract is signed. I, mean, I don't even give it a thought. I mean, so I won't even look at a video or a tape or anything. So when you hear him talking about it. It's just what it is, just talk. But when they sign the contract and say it's on, they give us a date, that's when that's when I'm, my mind is ready to go get it. Seems like um, with Errol Spence probably cutting weight and he's getting a little bit more agitated, he finally snapped at him and I asked him, I said, what would be more satisfying to you? A, knock, a knockout or a stoppage? And I asked you the same question, what would be more satisfying? A knockout or a stoppage? I think that 
the stoppage might be because I mean it would be um, you know it just depends on if well let me take that back if they stop the fight in the corner that's something totally different but if he knocks him out that's something totally different also. So, I mean, if, if if the knockout is better if he knocks him out but the stoppage is only better if they stop him in the corner not the referee. Derek, how big a deal would it be for you to be they raise the pound for pound guy from the beginning to pound for pound status? How that has a feather in your cap? I think that the pound for pound for me is just an idea, man. I mean, anybody can you know walk out the door, and another guy can walk back in the door and be that guy. But what happens is I think that when you it's an idea. So, but when you I did bring we started from the beginning where he had already had a trainer that I came in three years after. I think it's great. I, mean, I think it's phenomenal, but I mean, I think that I care about him consistently being great in the ring, so all the other stuff is just some extra. I mean, pound for pound is an idea. They put a guy in with, you know, 10 fights, 5 fights, so it doesn't matter. I care about my guy constantly, keep winning, constantly, keep winning better.